Hello and welcome. Um, well, thank you to anyone who's uh, clicked on this video and uh, thank you to anyone who's clicked on any of my videos to be fair. It's quite overwhelming and humbling. It, it, it is, it's like, it's quite mad really. Well, more than I expected. But um, yeah, I'd just like to say thank you. Uh, anyone who's liked, subscribed, shared, all that malarkey, I'd be uh, very grateful, very grateful. You know, I can't believe it. And I uh, hope you're all good out there. But um, also, while I'm on thank yous, I'd just like to thank Mazzy and Dan, aka the Travel Trolls. <laughs> Bless them. They've done a shout out on their channel. Their fans. Wow. Wow, mad. I didn't, I didn't ask them to do that or nothing. I didn't expect them to do that. And then when they did do that, I didn't expect the response that it got. You know, it's, it's mad. It's mad, it's, you know. Fanatical fans they got. <laughs> well deserved too. Well deserved. But brilliant, thank you very much. Um, crazy and I hope everything's going well for you too keep it up I will try I will try but we'll see we'll see but anyway the purpose of today's video is well I've got a, a walk and a wild camp planned in a couple of weeks from now look at this lovely gorgeous Wide open spaces, fresh air, sunshine. It's meant to snow tomorrow, can you believe that? I'll get out and show you if it does, I'll make a short video. Anyway, yeah, I'm tending this one to be short because I know I mine do tend to go on a bit. I don't know if that's a good thing or what. I need to mix it up. But anyway, yeah, I digress again. But yeah, the purpose of this video is I'm planning a walk. It's about 14 miles. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. You'll have to watch and it's going to be a beautiful walk i think so depending on the weather because i'm going to go on a certain day and rain snow will shine so this gear may change so what i'm doing is showing you the bag i'm going to use showing you the gear i'm probably going to use it's not set in stone obviously because if nearer the day the weather's different or i have a little epiphany or something of some some degree the gear may change but it's a rough look at this bag osprey talon 44 bag i've only walked a little bit with it got it as a christmas present feels really comfortable before this i've walked the length of my living room with it and today's only going to be a couple of miles but it feels it feels really good i've got a reasonable amount of gear in there i'll show you what i've got in there and run through a little bit of my thoughts on it. I'm gonna run too many of my thoughts. The geezers in the white coats will be coming to get me. But anyway, I'll see ya when I get to a little place. I'm gonna find a little log, have a little sit down, give you a, not a review, it's not a review, it's not a how-to. There's people who are much better than me at all that. I'm just starting out. This is just a little look at a little look at the gear and a little bit of a talk through each bit I'll try and keep it quite quick but I can't seem to help myself but anyway I'll see you in a minute well it'll be a minute well less than a minute to you but it'll probably be about 20 to me Arrivederci only a minute for you when it will less than a minute it's been more than 20 minutes for me because i was filming started up up there i've gone all the way up all the way around probably walked about three and a half four miles but i am out to test this bag out so it's been a good test comfortable comfortable but further ado anyway we'll get on to talking about this bag quickly and what's in it so we'll start from the outside of the bits. We've got two little pockets 
two little pockets on each wrist, wrist back, um, waistband. Keys in that one. Obviously you don't have to put your keys, put whatever you want. Handy for me though. I'm terrible with me pockets. Normally when I come out, I've got things with loads of pockets and I end up searching everywhere. It's always in the last one you search for, isn't it? But yeah, quite often. Another one I've got my phone in there. Fred Flintstone's phone. He gave me that when it got out of date for him. That's what I need though. Handy. It's alright, you can carry them sort of things in your pockets, but it's just handy, you know, having a system you know exactly where certain things are, which I haven't reached yet. But um, yeah, it's comfortable, as I say. There's a little pocket here, or a little, I'm not sure what that's for, but whatever, I'm not sure. Another handy feature on the front. But this bit of a cord here, and another bit here. And that is for hiking, trekking poles. And just go in there, in there, sort of out the way. I have tested it indoors with them on, and they don't get in your way, and then they're easy accessible. Bang, you can just get them from the front without taking your bag off, taking your pack off, and rummaging around for them. They're handy things to carry. I might bring them on this walk that I've got coming up. I don't know yet. But yeah, because they're handy for helping you walk and also for t putting up tarp shelters. But that's most of your, I'll say about the front of the bag, be chest strap. Comfortable, I've had a good test of it today. It is comfortable. I think I've got quite a bit of weight in there. I'm not sure how much. I'm sure. But yeah, so I've walked about four miles today, three and a half, four on my walk. What I've got planned, I'm probably going to do seven ish the first day and seven ish the second day so this gear obviously may change I'll just show you a little bit more of the outside of the bag you don't want to look at stinging nettles do you hopefully you can see hopefully you can see that right in the back of the bag we've got this section here which is for a water bladder you know, one of them things that's got a tube, so you can drink on the go, you have your tube out, maybe that's something to do with it. Nah, I don't think so. Maybe you can strap it to these things also on the uh, straps there, either side. But in there, I've just got that. The water bladder is pretty much a similar thing, except it has a, a straw that comes out of it that you can feed through, you can drink when you're on the go. I haven't got one of them yet, I don't know if I will. Then we have on top of the bag handy little pocket there. Well, say little, I've got quite a bit of gear in there. Got a backhoe Laplander saw for cutting wood. I probably won't need that on, on this journey, but I will probably still bring it. Probably still bring it. That's a little fire kit that's got um, fire steel and um, some tinder some other bits and bobs for starting fires lighting fires I may not need that some T-Rex uh, tape which is like Gorilla Glue Gorilla tape similar thing and it, you know repairing any holes in your top it has got loads of uses actually you can use it as a fire starter you can use it to repair stuff loads of uses a little magnifying glass which is handy if I'm reading stuff, or you can even maybe start fires with it, or whatever. I probably will have my glasses. A pencil. Surely I brought something to write on. Yeah, a little note, little waterproof notebook, and a pencil, just for jotting down notes of places I come across, or little notes of mistakes I make, because obviously I will do, I do do, and uh, yeah. In there at the minute, I've just got a few planned pictures of different tarp setups just to remind me that I need to get practicing them a bit more just so that they come second nature. In here, I've got a shemag, which this can be used as a headscarf, a scarf, a towel. Um, I'm going to use it as a pillowcase, I'll show you what we have in a minute. A little UCO candle, like a candle lantern which is also, um, I've got a citronella candle in there at the minute. I've used this a few times. 
not loads, but I like the idea of it. We shall see how it holds up. Citronella obviously is meant to keep the bugs away, so we'll see. That'll be a double whammy, won't it? Because they love coming to the light. And they'll come to the light and then the idea is they'll go oh no 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 and then they'll keep right away but we'll see we'll see if that does work what else i've got in here there's loads of room in here little mora knife handy cheapish good bush all-round bushcraft knife i can't remember what i paid for this about 12 quid for amazon highly rated it has gone through some use but not loads do sort of general tasks Sharpening sticks for steaks, all that sort of stuff. It's a little bit of a foil blanket that I may lay on the ground under me if I get the chills, or over the top of me if I get the chills. And me uh, sporky knife thing. Yeah, also on the outside, you've obviously got your uh, one of these each side with a pocket that comes out there so you can reach your water bottle from walking instead of sort of trying to contort yourself and hook it out here what have got there? Oh, well beat a snack bar yeah it's got one of those on each side you don't have to put that in there a water bottle you can put anything in there you could put pff, anything that fits in there anything that takes your fancy that you want quick access to so that's that pocket there was reasonable amount of gear in there and there was room for more and also on the outside I've got this elasticated pocket I've got some gloves a woolly hat which I might put on because it's got a bit chilly um, some waterproof trousers I'm not sure if I'm going to bother bringing them but look the size of them and a poncho just squeeze it up. I want to get a different bag for this to squeeze it up. The reason being for the poncho instead of a normal water jacket, um, rainproof jacket, is I haven't got I haven't got a um, waterproof cover for the bag. So if the weather does start, this will go over me and it. Also be used as a brown sheet. It's got attachments to make a small tarp. Handy. I can. I should probably get another bag for it because it does condense a lot smaller. Uh, Got a little bit of weight to it, but not a massive amount. Handy bit of kit. I will bring bring that with me. Hopefully, I don't miss nothing. Then inside the top of the lid, got a little compartment there. At the moment, obviously, this all may change. I've got a few electrical items. I have. There will probably be more in there when I go on my walk. A charger. Power bank, solar powered, but you can also charge it up on the mains. And then it's got the USB. It's meant to be fully waterproof. You've got a USB to charge it up. You just plug it in there, and to charge things off of it, you've got your two ports there. I don't know the technical terms, but you get the gist. It's also got a little torch on it, which may be handy. But I shouldn't need it really. So that's that. I'm actually open that out and have that on charge now. As the sun is shining, weather is sweet, yeah. Make you want to move your dancing feet. That's enough of that. So then I've got a head torch. What else I've got in here? Let me add the head torch. Ah, oh, another little light. A little bio light that's also solar powered. Can also be charged off of. Hello. It can also be charged off of the USB off of this. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring this. It's like a luxury item. You can have it on just a normal white light, or you can have disco lights on. I don't know if I press it twice. Ah, oh, yeah, it has just got the glow of the red light. If you press it twice, I think, I thought it was, but I'll turn it off, then you get a, like an ambient light of. It runs through different colours like red, green, purple, blue, orangey, and then back. But I don't know if I'm going to use that. It might be very soothing, we'll see. But that's the reason I've got that. I might bring it. It is only light. I might as well put that on charge here as well. 
I'm not sure how effective the solar power charge of it is. I have used it, but I generally uh, charge it back up at home. So that's the outside of the pack, a reasonable amount of gear really. Handy, I like the pack. I like the pack. I'm not sure how robust it will be, but we shall see. Yeah, Osprey Talon 44. Oh, also on the outside, you've got these clips here, which just cinch it all up, cinch it all up tight. But also, if you want to save space in your bag, you can put your roll mat, um, a tent, or anything like that on there. You know, that'll go bigger than that. That'll go to what size? if you can see yeah there's one both sides so you can hook it up there cinch it up bobs your uncle at the bottom here is another zip now my sleeping bag and a couple of bits are in there it's not sectioned off some bags have like a section off here with toggles and all sorts of things you can section it off from the rest of the bag this isn't this hasn't got that I don't think it has but yeah, it's just basically, if you want to access anything at the bottom of it, you know at the bottom of your bag, you can get to it, if you must. Here's my sleeping bag. We'll go into that in a little while. And the cover, obviously, that goes over the zip, stop all the uh, elements getting in. So actually, in the bag, We have DD Superlight Tarp. I'm debating whether to bring this or a British Army Basher, but I'm going with this in a minute because it gives you more coverage, more options. It's lighter, not as robust as you've seen if you've seen one of my previous videos, but DD replaced it. I've used it a few times since. This one does seem better quality made than the last one I had. It does, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. And I've got me repair tape if needed. In here, I've just got a few uh, pegs and some um, a few carabiners and some cordage. If I need to make a ridge line, I've got all the stuff I need in there. And if I need to you do uh, guy lines, guy line things out, that's all in there. I could probably shrink that down because depending on the weather, I may make me pegs. What's the word? In situ, that's what they say. Yeah, but we'll see, depends on the conditions. Here is part of my cook set. I think it's a Lixada. Used this a few times and it hasn't let me down. Lixada. In there, I've got an alcohol stove, a little alcohol stove. Pucker thing. That's not me, uh, Trangier one. Trangier is the the original, I think, and probably the best. I don't know. I haven't tested them all, so I can't say. But yeah, got a bit of alcohol in there. Meths or ethanol it takes. That won't leak. It's got a rubber ring on it. It's all airtight, and but I haven't got a stand for it as such. But I have. I have this. This is uh, the honey stove. I haven't really put it through its paces yet. I've used it a little bit. I need to get practicing with it, putting it together, because it is a bit fiddly. Let me put this back in here. It is a bit fiddly, but it's like anything, the more you do it, the easier and quicker, and better you get at it, and the quicker it is, and all that. But I love the concept of it. You can, it's, yeah, I don't know if it's hexagon type shape, or octagon, or a, Septagon or a Decepticon or whatever, but yeah, I can use it in conjunction with the uh, with the alcohol stove. I can, I have the option of making a small like enclosed fire with it to make a uh, you know a little twig stove, twig fire, small little self-contained twig fire if I want that for the ambiance or for cooking on, or I can use it in conjunction with the alcohol stove. That's it. Also a windbreak for it, I think. We shall see how that works out. And here, ah, yeah, this is, I've just got a, dry, a waterproof dry bag. And the idea of this is, well, basically, 
when I get in to lay down, I'm going to stick my jacket in here and a few other bits, and it's going to be my pillow, and that's going to be my pillowcase. We'll see how that goes. I was going to get an inflating pillow, but I just, I don't know, I just don't think it'll be that comfortable, but people love them, so maybe I will test that down the line. But yeah, I like putting my arm under there and I fidget about in that, so that's the idea of that, and it could have other uses as well, we shall see. Which, well, it's got a use already, then. I'll just whack that on there. If that was wet, obviously that stopped this getting wet. And I've got a little uh, comfy seat that I nearly fell off. Also in here, in here I've just got a little bit of extra spare clothing. I've got some pants, some socks. I've got some nice merino wool socks in there, which my daughter got me for Christmas, bless her. Or was it my birthday? And I've got um, base layers, trousers in the top, long sleeve top. They're not merino, they're OEX bamboo. I think they should do because we are coming into spring. They should do, they should do. I'm gonna wear them as my pajamas or I'll whack them on somewhere. Discreet obviously in the day if I get cold. Then I've got this snug pack bivy. I was thinking of going lighter weight with the bivy. This is a hoop bivy. You can get bivvies that are just literally um, go over your sleeping bag and your sleeping system and just they just keep the rain off. They're waterproof. This has got a hoop to it, it can be fully enclosed in there, bug mesh. I used it on my, uh, well, I went to use it, didn't I? On my old wild camp that I didn't do. So, redemption time for that and me. But I could, you have got another snug pack bivvy and there's an OEX, one that OEX make as well, bivvy bag, that condensed down quite small and I like sort of a pound, less than a pound, half a kilo in weight. That weighs a couple, I think. Also my sleep system, x paired mat. I think it's three quarters, weighs nearly nothing. Doesn't take up as much space as it looks like because it just folds like so. Goes down the back of your pack. That's just for a bit of extra insulation and in case my other mat pops, which I've heard they can do. I'll be using this deeply. Air mat, blow up mat. I have used it before. Comfortable, but I did feel a bit of cold coming through the ground from it. So in conjunction with the X ped, and maybe that if needed, should be laughing. Also bringing this, I may not bring this, magic carpet. It's just basically yeah, a ground sheet. It can be used as a small tarp. It's made of the same stuff as the ultra light, super light tarp. I'm not sure if I'll bring that because this could double as all that. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. And then my sleeping bag is a snug pack jungle bag. I may have to upgrade this. It's, it's um, what's the temperature rating? Comfort, seven degrees centigrade or 45 degrees Fahrenheit, low. Two degrees centigrade or 35, 36 degrees Fahrenheit. We shall see, but look how small that packs up. That's got a bug mesh on it. I haven't even compressed it properly though. I haven't even compressed it. I probably won't compress much in there, but I may use this, I may have to go to a free season bag. Obviously I will check the weather, the forecast on the day. But in conjunction with this gear, snug pack should hold the heat in, the bivy. The mats should keep stop it coming up. I should be okay. And if I need to, I can put layers on, but then Bearing that in mind, some of them layers were going to be me pillow. So we'll see, we'll see nearer the time. Yeah, just one more thing I forgot to show you. I've got a new head torch, so firm. I don't know the technical, SP40. I wanted a decent head torch. This one's, I don't know if it's as good as uh, some that are out there on the market, but I've tested it a little bit and it's a lot better than what I had. And uh, it's a head torch and also a little, uh, got the different settings on it, firefly, or low light, high light. So there it is, not laid out the neatest, but that is the gear I'm thinking of bringing with me. Anyone who has tested these type of bits, any advice, let me know, but I think 
should be fine. I was tempted to not bring a tarp, but look at it's so small. And when I plot up for the night, if the weather's raining, I cannot sit. I, I, you know, I, that'll give me somewhere to sit, to sort of sit under, out of the elements. You know, I can sit and cook and I can sit and read. In there, I'm going to be a little bit confined. I'm going to be able to sit up as such, unless I have it all unzipped and whatever. So I'll be able to sit up and chill under the tarp, I'm hoping. But I may switch some of this gear over. But at the moment, that is what's going to be coming with me. But obviously, there'll be more water in that. I'll probably have a water bottle in one of them side compartments. Me food and um, some extra alcohol for the stove. I may not, I may just fill it up and then just use that for boiling me water and cooking me food. Food wise, I'll probably bring about three dehydrated meals. So sort of one for sort of lunch, one for dinner, one for breakfast. And some snacks, cereal bars, Jaffa cakes, um, crisps, nuts, chocolate, you know, nibbles on the way. Tea and coffee, obviously, they don't weigh nothing. But that is a small onion. That's shallot. But anyway, it was a good test for carrying the bag. And that stuff fit in there with room to spare, 44 litre bag. And once again, thank you, anyone who's uh, clicking on my videos and following and watching and stuff. And hopefully, uh, I'll continue for a good long time health and time and conditions permitting hopefully i will because i enjoy it a lot and i'm not the most professional at this out there there are people who are much better than me knowledgeable than me much more but yeah there we go there's my gear i will probably be bringing